What is up guys, it's Naf here. So today I wanted to make a quick guide on how to make divine herb patches, which can be made once a day. Now the only skill requirement to do this is level 12 deviation, which can easily be achieved by doing one round of the Guthix Cache Distraction and Diversion, or if you do want to spend about 20 minutes doing deviation at Lumbridge if you're currently level one. Now the items required for this daily are five flickering energy and 10 clean guam. Now flickering energy can be collected at level 10 east from the Falador lodestone and clean guam can be easily acquired if you're level 10 farming or through killing chaos Struids or various other low level monsters. Or if you are a mainscape character, you can easily buy them cheaply from the grand exchange. So once you have the required items like I do in my inventory, you can click flickering energy, which will uh, say weave flickering energy and it'll bring up the various items you can make with your uh, flickering energy. So you can see Divine Herb Patch 1 is uh, illuminated, so we can make that. Now you may also notice this tab, so you can click it and just view the various other items you can produce with different types of energies if you are just curious of what is possible. Now back on flickering energy, so you can see this is lit up, that means you do have the items, the five flickering energy and the 10 clean guam. Now once you click create, it will make the divine herb patch, which you can now see. You get a little bit of div experience, but not too much to talk about. But there we go, you've got your divine herb patch. And now just to reinforce, this is a daily, you can only make this divine or any divine once a day so even if it's with a different type of energy say a gleam energy for example you can't make any more you've already made one once a day now on that note with gleaming energy it, you can make the next level of divine herb patch now i don't recommend this because it requires 20 clean error which to me is a lot bigger an investment than 10 guam 10 guam is very easy to get on a daily basis if you don't have a lot in your bank whilst 20 era not so much and as you can see, it's, it's also informing me. I can't make it because I've already made a divine location today. So once you do put down the divine location, it will last for roughly 30 seconds. Now, if you are a mainscape character, there are worlds you can go on where people usually will throw them down. Say a uh, popular member's worlds like World 2 um, at Berthorpe. This is uh, primarily for Iron Men just because it's very beneficial um, to get some of those hard to find herbs. Okay, so here we are putting down the divine herb patch. So once you do click it, you just click it the once and you should start collecting the herbs. Now you do get farm experience, which is great. The experience does depend on what herb you pull out. Now that is random. Now, as you can already note, you aren't getting Gorms in return. You're actually getting higher level herbs. Sometimes you only get some of the lower level ones, which aren't too good, such as Taraman and Marantel. But you will also notice there are some of the more popular or at least some of the more useful herbs, such as Rana being the main one, also Toad Flax. And as you can see, the farm experience is pretty good. So there we go, that's the one divine location done. So if you were doing this once a day, that's what you would get. That's what you get for your 10 clean guam and your five flickering energy, which realistically, if you're an Iron Man who's been playing for some time, you would most likely have a fair few clean guam in your bank. And to get five flickering energy would take literally two seconds of actually doing uh, the deviation skill. So it really isn't much work at all. Okay, so I did tally that up. So from our one divine location, we got eight Grimmy Spirit Weed, three Grimmy Toad Flax, four Grimmy Rana, nine Grimmy Marental, one Grimmy Haralander, one Grimmy Taraman, and two Grimmy Gwarm. So considering that only did cost us 10 clean guam, that's definitely a decent return. Again, for an Iron Man, that's great. And also even just to sell that back to the GE, if you are looking to make a little bit of easy profit. Also from that one divine location, I did get 728 farm experience. So if you are 95 Dungeoneering and have completed the Plague's End quest, you can access the Garage Resource Dungeon. Now this is in the Melia clan district. So from the lodestone to Prith, you just run north. And then you do go northeast past the Harmony Pillars and the bank. And then you will find this uh, Dungeoneering Mysterious entrance. So you do just go through. So going through the first time will also net you 30,000 Dungeoneering experience. But here you will find a Garage of Horde Stalker but more importantly, the divine locations. Now, if you hop to different worlds, they will be random, but essentially what these mean is you can collect from them. 
and it alleviates needing to make your own divine location. So this is more important for Iron Man, as you can see. Very, very easy to get something, but if you want to be very specific, say you do just want herbs or you just want uh, rock tails, that's a popular one for Iron Man, you'll have to keep popping worlds until you can find that specific thing. But regardless, it is an alternative to making your own patches when you are a higher level, as you can just keep using different locations until you're capped instead of being bound by only being able to make one a day. Okay guys, so that's it for this quick guide. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.